Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're talking all about the autumn clock change and the clock's going back one hour. And today I wanna help you with baby sleep and what you can do to manage this clock change. So stick around because I have another great idea for you. All right, so last time I talked about the gradual approach to managing the clock change. And if you didn't see that and you want to check it out, then please do. Um, but today I'm going to talk to you about the approach that I call meet in the middle. And it really is about that halfway compromise with the clock change. So let's take our typical 7 p.m. bedtime and say your little one's usual bedtime is 7. Um, what we're going to do is the clock's going to go back in the night. So on the Saturday night, uh, when they go to bed, we simply meet in the middle and go, right, well, by tomorrow, 7 p.m. Uh, will become 6 p.m. Okay, so we want to move bedtime um, an hour later, um, but we're not going to do it in one go. We're going to move halfway. So we're going to move bedtime later by 30 minutes. So instead of putting them to bed at 7, we put them to bed at 7.30 p.m. 7.30, okay, because by moving it forward by half an hour to 7.30, during the night time when the clocks shift back an hour, that 7.30 would have been the equivalent of 6.30. Okay, so because that would have been the equivalent of 6.30, then the next night moving to the new seven is going to be a lot easier for them. They've only got half an hour difference rather than the whole hour. Okay, so the clocks are going to shift back one hour. You're gonna move bedtime forward by 30 minutes and go to bed later by 30 minutes on the Saturday night. Who is this for? So I talked about the gradual approach being for the very sensitive types. This is for those who are not quite so sensitive, but maybe they're still on the younger side. So they may be, um, they may still be having daytime sleeps, for instance, so you can't shift the timing too much and a whole hour would be too much for them. So if a whole hour change is going to be too much for them, but you think that the gradual shift in time is going to have little impact on them and have little significance, then this is like the halfway house and a happy, a happy medium for you. If you have any questions about this approach, to the autumn clock change, then please do drop us a comment or reach out to us at The Sleep Nanny. And for now, I'm gonna leave you with an amazing resource if you click the link below, and you'll be able to access help with your little one's sleep for free today. So go check it out, and I will see you in the next episode where I'm gonna be sharing my third idea for you on how you can navigate this clock change. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag TheSleepNanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.